Okay, I think it's on. Good morning, everybody. This is Ken Tucky Swenson in Old Washington, Kentucky. Um, I'm going to let this run for just a second. I want to make sure that, that um, you can see me correctly. And I'll start in just a minute. Hey, let's see. Okay, it looks like I'm in the frame well. Um, I'm going to wait just a minute or a, a couple seconds to see if anybody joins in. It looks like a couple people are here. So let's. Uh oh. Having technical problems. Here we go. I'm back. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. All right. Um, a couple of days ago, a friend of mine who's a, a young artist was struggling with artist block. They didn't know what. To, they, they wanted to make art, but they didn't have any ideas on what to make. And a really good friend of mine named Rachel Bowman, who's an artist in Ripley, Ohio, taught me a little activity on how to get your ideas out there on paper. And instead of trying to d describe the activity over Instagram to this friend, I thought I'd make this video to actually show how the activity works. So. The way the activity works, you get some paper and a pencil or a pen or today I'm going to use a sharpie and I've got newsprint and I'm going to set a timer for one minute and in one minute I'm going to draw my idea out as fast as I can and when the minute's over I've got to stop and then I'll start over and reset the timer for another minute and draw 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 as fast as I can and some of the psychology behind this is that if you just have a real short amount of time to work you're not going to get hung up on details or, or perfectionism because all you have is a minute so you just have this ideally you have this free flowing ideas that come out really quick quick and fast so I usually like to draw really small and I like to use a pencil so that I could erase. And I think it's good to, with exercise, you want to do things that are outside of your comfort zone. So instead of a pencil, I'm going to use a Sharpie, which if you've ever used a Sharpie, you know you can't erase a Sharpie. And I'm going to use newsprint, which is a little bit bigger than the smaller paper I'm used to in a sketchbook. So I'm going to do my one minute sketches pretty quick. So. Um, I'm going to need to move the camera so that you can see what I'm drawing while the timer goes. So if you get seasick, maybe look away from the screen for just a second. And while I'm back here, I can look at look at all the people waving. I'm, you can't see me, but I'm waving back. All right, let's see if we can get you over the over the drawing area. That's okay. Hopefully that's a pretty good view. Let me sit down and I'll pretend to draw. So if I'm drawing like this, could you see? So if I'm drawing like this. Okay, it looks like you could see what I'm drawing like this. So I've got my iPad to the left of me, I'm going to open the clock app so that I can have a timer for one minute. I'm going to open the timer. I'm going to open the timer and set it for one minute. One minute and zero seconds. All right. Now, one advantage of doing this one minute real fast drawing, um, you would usually do this exercise by yourself, so there's no judgment. If this comes out looking really stupid, you've just put a minute into it. But I've got an audience, so I'm a little more nervous than I normally would be if I'm in the comfort of my studio by myself. But um, this is just an exercise. It's just a real quick free flow, get ideas out there. I um, like to make greeting cards and Mother's Day is coming up and I'm trying to think of an idea for a Mother's Day card and I've got this quote of um, home is where 
your mom is. I think this is the quote I'd like to use for my greeting card. So while I'm brainstorming, this is going to be the inspiration for all of my little one minute drawings. Okay, so, you know, instead of just dipping your toe in the pool, you just got to jump in. So I'm just going to hit start and I'm going to draw whatever comes out of my brain. So here we go, start. All right, this is about the size of the card. And I want it to say, home is where your mom is. Where your mom is. And I want to have a house, maybe a garden. So here's a house. And let's maybe have some flowers, different flowers. And maybe, I live in Kentucky, so we love our hills. I might have some hills in the background. Maybe some clouds. And maybe some birds. Mm. You can never have too many birds, so let's keep on filling the space with birds. Home, there's an E on home. And let's put a chimney here. Um, I think overall I'm pretty happy with this design, and I've got two seconds to spare. All right, so there is my first idea. Done. Well, stop. Okay, so in one minute, I've got a quick, fast idea for my note card. Now, I'm going to hit the timer again and do my second idea. So maybe I'll do a portrait oriented car this time and home is where your mom is that's that I like that layout better and maybe maybe this will be like like a, a treetop with a bird and a nest and maybe maybe the baby birds are flying out because you know you're only you only get to with your parents while you're a child and then eventually you have to leave the nest. So maybe I'd have some leaves. Uh, let's see, I'd probably make that a little bit bigger, but let's, I kind of like the texture of clouds in a woodcut. We'll have our little bird and mom's in the nest. Oh, there's my minute. So. I'm going to stop and start to go over. I'm thinking about birds and moms, so this time I'm going to do home is where your mom is. And you see I don't have to get hung up on details. This time I'm going to have the nest kind of big, and maybe mom will be, I want mom to be feeding the baby birds. So the baby birds are in the nest like this. Mom is reaching down. Uh oh, this might not be a very good port uh, landscape. So mom's leaning down like that. And the baby birds there with the trees and the leaves. I, I really like the idea of a bird representing moms and families because everybody's family looks different. And, um,. So if I did a portrait of my mom, that might not look like, like your mom. Okay, so I'll stop there and start again. I might keep going with that theme, but in a portrait orientation. So home is where your mom is. Where your mom is would be there. And then the nest might be here. You know, baby birds. At this point, I'm just kind of, maybe there's one that's going to be ready to fly off a little bit. Because I was the oldest child, and I was the first to leave the nest. So that's me going off there. And here's my mom feeding the other baby bird. That might be, that might be it. And then maybe I'll have a cloud here. I'll have leaves around the nest. 
Um, gosh, I want to put stars. I know maybe it should be a daytime thing, but I, I need, I want some stars there. Oh, okay. So there, there we go. I'll stop that. So four minutes passed, and I've got four different ideas for my note card. And you could do this until you exhaust yourself. Usually I like to do 10 or 12 in one setting. And if you do one right after the other, after the other, that's just 15 minutes of your time, and you're going to have 12 to 15 ideas for some kind of art that you can make. So I'm going to look back here, see if you all have any questions. Um, hopefully seeing it in action explains the way the activity works, but I'll Hey, hold the camera over so you can see my sketches. They're, they're nothing fancy at all, but you can see you can see um, how that brainstorming coming up with ideas works. I'm going to scroll back and see if there's any questions. It looks like everybody's everybody's watching, um, but no questions. All right. Well, this is. Oh, Karen, yeah, the, the birds are singing happily at my house this morning. Um, I think with less traffic, you have more birds singing, and that's, that's pretty cool. I was watching the PBS NewsHour, and there was a bird expert who talked about how, how with, with less traffic and less human noises, the, the singing of the birds has changed a little bit to adapt to not having all of the human noise out in the environment. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, it'll be interesting to see when we can get noisy again if, if we might decide to change some of the ways we, we behave. Um, I, I'm especially interested in the clean air. Uh, a lot of places with dirty air have had cleaner air, but um, but I just wanted, to, I don't want to rattle on and on and on too much with you all, but I wanted to show you that quick and easy way to brainstorm ideas for, for artwork, and hopefully this is helpful to you. If you end up doing this activity, and if, if you feel like sharing, feel free to, to put a picture of your brainstorming in the, the comments, and hope you're doing well, staying safe, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.